What's more dangerous to your retirement, stock market losses or lower returns? We believe that avoiding stock market losses is the most important thing when you're in retirement because it can have such a crushing effect on your investments mm -hmm. if you're losing money in the market and withdrawing money out at the same time, and that's not including a management fee or a fee inside the funds. So a lot of people nowadays with the market being up so high, you know, over 20% for all the major indexes, have a hard time thinking about getting a little bit safer, reducing yeah. risk because they don't want to give up a huge market year. They want to hold on to it, but we keep trying to tell them, you know, when it's too late, it's too late. <laughs> like if you just hold on to it until things crash and burn, then where are you? And that's what happened to people in 2008. And even if we have something in the future that's not as bad, when you're in retirement or just getting ready to go into retirement, that's a really bad mix there. So we try to encourage people to just try to take a step back, even though you know, your accounts may be doing well, and just think about the what ifs and where you're trying to set yourself up to be for the future. Here's an example. Let's say you had a million dollars and you lost 50% which is not out of the question because in 2008, from the top of 2008 to the bottom of 2009, the loss was 50% mm -hmm. in the S&P 500. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have a million, you lose 50%, you're down to a half a million. Mm -hmm. Next year, you earn 50%. You're not back up to a million, although a lot of people kind of think they would be, mm -hmm. you're only back up to 750,000. Mm -hmm. So even though the average return over those two years was zero, the, the loss was negative 25%. Avoiding those big losses in retirement is really important and we can help you to do so.